Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today I'm just gonna do a quick video going over the fastest ways to help you complete the scoreboard. I get this question a lot. There's not really a lot of ways to do it, but I'm gonna show you the best ways and pretty much every way. Let's get into it. Okay, so here's the scoreboard and I know a lot of you are trying to get through it. I just wanna point out, I know this is um, Fallout First exclusive, but if you can use those boosters, do not forget to use them. I just wanted to point this out for people that have Fallout First and may not know about these boosters. And what it does is it boosts like your challenge score, it boosts your repeatable score. If you have Fallout First, you really want these. Um, gain another 10% bonus score when you complete challenges from the rest of um, Season 16. Um, this really helps with the repeatable, I have to add. Um, unlocks boost for all characters on your account. Bonus is applied to base challenge score. Does not apply to previously completed challenges. So, again, make sure you have this on if you have Fallout first. It definitely makes a difference. Also, the re-rollers we're going to talk about in a second here. I just want to show that I think it's page 8 that... Um, is the last booster that we're gonna get here. But I'm gonna talk about these re-rollers as well. They're really gonna help you get the scoreboard done fast as well. And you can use these without having Fallout first. So yeah, I think it's page 10 here. Yeah, page 10 I think is the last score booster. So there are three of them. Just keep an eye out for them and make sure you're claiming them. Okay, so to get into the score challenges, and these are dailies, they switch up daily at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and the weeklies switch up every Tuesday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, you do get the re-rolls and the premium re-rollers. You get two free re-rolls a day, and you do have a chance to roll an epic. Now, I highly recommend not rolling or re-rolling the dailies, only re-roll the weeklies. What I like to do is, is try not to complete any weeklies until I re-roll an epic. So basically through the week you'll have 14 re-rolls, right? And have a chance to re-roll these to epic. You can see it's like an extra 625 score just if you get an epic. I tried to get a couple here with the two free re-rolls uh, re I had today. Uh, I didn't get lucky enough so I'm just gonna, you know, move on and try not to complete these. So basically I re-roll ones that I expect I might finish without getting an epic if that makes sense. So again, always try to re-roll the epics for the weeklies if you can and then at the end of the week I'll pop a booster as you just saw here and you can see it buffs it up to 2,250 score like that is a lot like if you're like less than 10 like maybe even less than 20 on the scoreboard that's gonna like boost you up like two one or two levels just from one of those so yeah another great way to finish the scoreboard obviously um, just gonna show here as well to like the, the amount of the, that you will get from it just to put it into perspective just to see how much that scoreboard goes up um, and keeping in mind that I'm over level 100 so if you're like below level 50 you're probably gonna get twice as much of a bar as I do here that I'm gonna show. Another little trick here too, if you didn't know for modding armor, you can literally just change the paint jobs on it back and forth as I did here, which was the epic that I have um, available to complete. It was the only one and I did have a booster going so I thought I would just finish it for you guys just to show you how much that score boost goes up. And again, keeping in mind, I'm level 100. Like, boom, like that's more than half a rank right there. And that's like I said, like I'm 120. Um, a lot of people probably don't want to hear this, but West Tech is the best way to complete the scoreboard by killing super mutants, respawning them, and doing it over and over again with all the XP buffs possible. Now, I know this isn't for everybody, but I had to throw it in the video because it is the best way to finish the scoreboard. I was able to complete the scoreboard in less than 30 hours, basically. It was probably like seven hours gameplay to complete the scoreboard. You can see I'm getting 1,100 a kill there. With all XP buffs, like you can get up to like 23, 2400 almost XP a kill. So that's like, you know, four or five super mutants and you're getting a repeatable. Plus you put the boosts in there, you're gonna get even more of a repeatable. So again, I know it's not for everybody, but West Tech with as many XP and intelligence buffs as you can get is the best way to finish the scoreboard. Um, just to put some of the buffs out there, like the Derby Machine, you can get it from which I'm going to show on the map. You just have, a, have to have a high enough rep. 
um, a, a good way to get a little bit of extra intelligence. And this will work everywhere too, not just at West Tech. Um, the new tome that we can get from the Mothman event, an extra 5% for an hour. Just sleeping in your bed for 30 seconds, you can get an extra XP or 5% extra XP for an hour, up to three hours if you get Lover's Embrace. Leo is um, a companion you can have at your camp. You just have to give him a Nuka Cola Cranberry and he'll give you 5% extra XP for an hour. And all of these stack everybody. So just keep that in mind. I'll link in the description a playlist of everything you need to know about XP. But I just want to say if West Tech is not for you, then just doing the dailies and weeklies every chance you get, you'll easily complete the scoreboard in about a month, I would say. is probably the best way to go. Again, if you don't want to run West Tech, just hop on here, complete those dailies, maybe do a couple of weeklies. Like, you can complete the dailies in 15, like, not even 15 minutes once you get good at it, everybody. And again, that'll be more than enough to complete the scoreboard with extra time to even grind out to 150. Um, I hope this helps some people uh, finish the scoreboard a little bit quicker. And as always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Okay.